Shane Paul Gibson. We're the end time preachers. We're also uh, along with Jake Jansen, the Gibsons, God's All Original Southern Rock Ministry. We're going to be doing a benefit uh, at Warriors for Veterans October the 5th, Shackle Island Fire Hall, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Uh, we're going to have several speakers, several bands. want you to come and see it. Uh, we're going to bring a, a sermon here to you called the Laodicean Church. Uh, we've been so pretty well let down by every denomination, non-denomination, interdenominational there is. So we're going to be putting together our local assembly. Uh, I used to call myself a Baptist, but I can't much anymore since they elected their leader because of his skin color to draw a crowd. Uh, they, should, uh, uh, they should elect your leaders by the full of the Holy Ghost, loves the Lord, fears God, wants to win souls. But we're in the Laodicean church age. Shane is going to tell you about the Laodicean church. You want to find out about it. Uh, Revelation chapter 3. That will tell you what God thinks about the Laodicean church. And we are in the Laodicean church. The one previous to us was a Philadelphian from 1600 to 1900. But now we have entered into the Laodicean churches where you can find 200 versions, over 200 versions of the Bible. There used to be. Some of them's defunct now. But... Revelation chapter 3 will tell you the church we have today. Revelation chapter 3, verse 14 through 20. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou art cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou may beest rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that, thy, and that Shame of thy nakedness does not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and sup with him, and he with me. That's what you have in the Laodicean church. Now, there are some good little churches out there, and there are some good people in some large churches. I'm not saying there's not, but on the whole, the Laodicean church uh, is a waste of time. Uh, what you've got is you've got people like Joel Osteen. Huge church out there. Well, you know what you got there? you got a bunch of people, man, whew, they're blind as a bat. Anybody that would follow Joel Osteen or any of those big prosperity preachers is blind as a bat. Uh, you don't know God from Harry Potter. Okay? Now what you got, it starts out with your Sunday school literature. What you doing with veggie tales in your church teaching the children? That's where they've gone wrong. Satan has all the church, large church leaders convinced to give the kiddies what they want instead of what they need. Uh, Christians have no backbone today. Uh, what you got is booksellers. You got music sellers. Uh, the music business, they're, they're not about winning souls, they're about making money. That's a fact. Uh, there's one more I want to tell you about. Shane's going to read you in Romans. Romans chapter 10, uh, verse 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. There's not many of the large churches, and not many churches at all do have the word of God in them. The word of God is a King James AV 1611 Bible. That's what the word of God is. And so many of them don't have any kind of a Bible in them. They're, they'll brag about it. Well, if you don't have the word of God in your church, how big is your faith? Well... Answer me that. Where is your faith? 
I see your faith. It's nowhere. Uh, you wrote, wear shirts around saying, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. No, you can't. That's a lie. You can't. Paul could, but you can't. Can you go 24 hours without sinning? Can you? Can you go for a week without sinning? Huh? You can do all things, huh? Well, see, Christ is in you, but you're holding him back. Christ could, but you ain't going to let him. So, that's what's happened with the Laodicean church today. You've got prosperity preachers. It's all about money. It's not about soul winning. Ours will be about the word of God, the true word of God, and soul winning. Look for the church, the new church, that will be coming soon. And uh, Shane, do you have anything to add to this? Anything you want to say about the ministry we have with Steel? Uh, some of your plans you have in the future? Or just tell me what's on your heart while you're sitting here thinking about that for just a minute. What you, what's your plans? Well, all I got is three words to leave with everybody. Preach the word. Amen. <laughs>